Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a technique of how to enlarge an image using a grid technique. So we're going to use um, a smaller image, we're going to create a grid over the top of it, and then we're going to create a larger grid and then transfer that image to make it larger. So I have a video and demonstration to show you how it's done, so let's get started and then you can have a go yourself. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, use a grid to enlarge an image. So I'm going to use this um, this classic sort of famous Banksy stencil image because it's quite simple um, and I'm going to enlarge this here. In fact, I'm going to make it double the size on this piece of paper as accurately, accurately as possible. So the first thing I need to do is create a grid. Now, I need to just roughly work out the size um, and then make sure that when I transfer it that it's going to fit on the page. So I'm going to, just looking at a glance here, I'm going to make this say, um, say from here, zero, maybe to 15 centimeters across. But I just need to check that if I enlarge this, say I'm going double that 30 centimeters, well, it'll fit exactly on the page. So if I go this way and make this say, what, 20 centimeters looks good here. But then I also need to check, whoops, that if I double that, that 40 centimeters will fit on this page. I need to just use my ruler a few times. There's 30 and that will take me down to 40 here, just before the bottom of it. Okay, that works out quite well. Okay, so now I'm just going to create um, a grid around the outside. so I'll better move that over. Let's go here. Okay, oops, fix that. Okay, and now I just need to decide um, how big my sort of intervals are, knowing that whatever I do here, I'm going to double over here. So, uh, what have I got, 15? So I'm looking for a little bit of maths is going to come into this. So I'm looking for um, maybe it would work if I worked in say maybe fives. So let's go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Obviously, um, if it's a quite a detailed picture, the smaller I make these squares, the more accurate it will be, but I'll just use some large squares. And now, I can show you how this works as we go along. Okay, and here I've got five, 10, 15. So I'm using five centimeter squares. And then over here, I'll use 10 centimeter squares because it's double. I'm going to make everything double. Okay, so I've got um, a four by three grid. Everything is five centimeters. So over here, I'm now going to create, um, did I say it was 20? So I need to make this 40 centimeters because this is 20 centimetres. And everything's 30 centimetres across, which is the length of my page that works out well. So let's mark this as 10, 20, 30, because that is 5, 10, 15. Let's go 10, 20, 30 there. And down the side, I'll mark that as 10, 20, and 40 down here. And we have 10, 20, 30, 40 down there. Okay, so let's make this grid.
Okay, now this is quite long, so I'm going to measure this through the middle. Let's go 10, 20, 30. And now I can make this grid. Okay, so now I have a three by four grid, a three by four grid. These measure five centimeters, these measure 10 centimeters. So this is now exactly double for this. Now what I'm going to do is just go grid by grid and fill in each of these image, these boxes one by one. Now this has nothing in it, so I don't need to fill anything in here. This also has nothing in it, so that's easy. But this box has the heart. So I'm going to now create that heart in this box. Okay, now it comes into this box now with a piece that comes across and a little piece that comes down. I'm going to fill that in. Okay. Okay, now this piece is done and this piece is done. Now I don't need to worry about these squares because there is nothing in them at all. Okay, but this square here, I have a face. I need to draw that in. Okay, now this section is done. And now I just need to finish this section. Now I'm up to this box here. So I'm going to continue from these lines, this box here. Let's follow these lines. Okay, now this little section. And now I'm just going to finish this section and this section. Okay, now I've filled in every box. I've tried to do it as neatly, accurately as I can in each box. And I now have an image that is twice as big. Oh, and I almost forgot this part here. So it's important that we check each box and make sure that we have every little section of it in. Okay, done. Okay, there we go. I have now have an enlarged image, twice the scale of my original using a grid technique. And in fact, I'm even going to color it in. Okay, and once you're finished, don't forget to rub out your um, your grid lines on your on your new copy. Okay, and there we have a fairly accurate enlargement of an image using a grid technique. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it was helpful for you for enlarging smaller images to larger images. You can do this with just about any sorts of images you like. You can make that as simple or as difficult as you choose, but give it a go, have some fun with it, and I hope you enjoy it. Bye.